morning, everybody. It's Dan at Hebron Acres, and uh, we're here in the workshop. As you can see, it's it's a mess because we just brought in uh, some new tools. And speaking of which, uh, the newest addition to the workshop is this uh, Millermatic 130. Um, it's a 115 volt unit, which so you can plug it into a standard outlet. Although the shop is wired for 220, uh, so. Um, this is a new unit for us. Um, we don't have, well, I should say, shouldn't say we, I should say I don't have uh, a great deal of experience um, in welding. I've just been stick welding, um, but I've been uh, waiting for the right opportunity to uh, pick up a used um, MIG welder. And the Lord blessed us with a MIG welder last weekend at, a, at an auction. And I got it reasonably affordably and it was well equipped. Uh, except for the argon gas bottle, which we don't have. So right now I just have a flux core uh, wire spool on it. Um, that's not what I want to do eventually. Uh, I will put a, uh, an argon gas bottle on it so that we can do proper MIG welding. Uh, not that the, the flux core is not proper, but uh, I just like a, want a cleaner weld for smaller items such as artwork, which is what I'm going to try and test it on today. So. Um, we're going to fire this up and uh, see what I can discover. This will be the first time using it. Um, we'll see what we can see. All right, we'll be back in just a bit. I'm back uh, here at the welding table. Um, we've got the welder set up and we're getting ready to work on making what we call these uh, screwdriver flowers. Uh, we go to auctions and we buy uh, just flats of old crappy screwdrivers that nobody wants and we might get you know like a dozen or so for a buck or two or maybe three um, and we've been making kind of yard art flowers with them uh, I'll show you some other examples uh, later in the video um, but I'm just now setting this this one up I've got four flower petals set up on a central hub which is the center of the flower and I've got some other screwdrivers and this will be the outside rim and then I'll uh, weld on some shorter ones that will be kind of an inner circle uh, and that'll give us some kind of three-dimensionality to the flower um, and then we've decided Kelly and I've decided that we're actually going to paint these instead of letting them go you know rustic uh, so when we get some finished products uh, we'll show you all right be back in a minute so here you can see we've got six big wide petals uh, rather uh, eight I'm sorry I know my own geometry. Uh, eight petals welded to the center of the flower. And now the next step is to choose some other cheap short ones, shorter ones, to do some intermediate petals. And uh, eventually we'll weld a, a, a stem on the back so that we can stick it in the ground. So uh, keep you posted as we progress. After assembled and a quick coat of paint, there is the screwdrivers and it cost us about a buck or two what do you guys think 